So I had an idea. I have a bunch of these uh, cheap laptops that I got for free laying around, and some of them don't really work that well, but uh, for this purpose, I think they would work really well. What I wanted to do was take out all of the unnecessary components from a laptop and leave the screen behind with the motherboard and get something like this. Um, so this is a free HP laptop. Um, you can come on in. That I got, uh, for, you know, as a donation. And what we did is took all of the hardware components off that aren't necessary for it to operate and left the screen, put a capacitive touchscreen on top of that. And now we have a Linux uh, laptop. So uh, with a capacitive touchscreen, it just sits over top of the LCD display that would normally be uh, inside of the laptop screen. And it communicates using the serial bus and uh, can replace like the mouse. And when you go into an accessibility feature um, in Linux Mint, Cinnamon, uh, I think Ubuntu, a few, a few different of them, you can create a tablet feature which launches the uh, keyboard whenever you have a potential keyboard input. So there are my settings. I set it to tablet mode and this is in Linux Mint. Um, you can change the size of the keyboard um, and when you expect it to uh, appear. So when you set it to show the keyboard at any time something expects input, you'll get a res uh, something like this and I'll show you too. So with the capacitive touchscreen, you can move the windows around, close windows. Um, there's a bunch of different features that you can do. Um, but the accessibility feature makes it so that whenever there's a text input, keyboard pops up, and then when the text input goes away, the keyboard goes away. Um, the other thing I was gonna show is the background. So when you, so that's really, everything in the laptop that's needed to operate. I've got a hard drive in there. I kept the speakers just to demonstrate the video. Uh, we've got power hooked up, the LCD display, and then the YLAN chip for um, Wi-Fi connection. So we've got an antenna hooked up to the wireless LAN chip so we have a little bit better signal. And then the camera, so we were able to keep the camera as well from the laptop. Um, and then I'll show you. So here's a 4K video. with audio and everything playing on this. So this is a, a laptop without the case. And now what we're going to do is uh, kind of build a case around it. So we're gonna use, we got a bunch of 3D printers. Um, you can show them over here. So we, we build and design all this kind of stuff. We've got uh, a bunch of FFF printers, and then over here we've got a bunch of resin printers. So uh, between that and our machine shop, we can make really whatever we want. We're gonna make the case for the back of the screen uh, so that we can set the screen into it. They have these little adapting hole ports that were already on a lot of laptop screens, so you, all you have to do is screw them in. Um, but you can make your own case, uh, your own tablet at home. This costs a total of $60. So for the beginning of your project, a $60 tablet project, this is a great start, in my opinion. Cool, thanks.